Hello guys, in this video we are going to study about paroxetine. Paroxetine belongs to SSRI group of drugs that is selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. The other example in this group are fluoxetine, citalopram, sertraline and fluxamine. Now let us understand the mechanism of action of paroxetine. Paroxetine uh, blocks four type of receptors that is 5-HT1A, 2A, 2C, dopamine 1 and 2 alpha and beta receptors and muscarinic receptors the side effect of paroxetine are mostly due to this uh, blockage of this muscarinic receptor which leads to anticholinergic side effects now uh, the main uh, action of uh, paroxetine is via blocking this 5ht uh, 1a 2, 2a and 2c receptor that's why it is known as selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor now this is synapse as you can see here and uh, th this is presynaptic this is postsynaptic and in the presynaptic there are vesicles which contain serotonin this vesicles are released in the synaptic clef and they are taken up by the uh, serotonin receptor so how does it happen uh, there is calcium which comes here and which generates the action potential which leads to release of this uh, uh, vesicle in the synaptic cleft and uh, which releases the serotonin and this serotonin goes and acts on its receptor also there are serotonin reuptake transporter uh, present in the uh, presynaptic uh, site and this has the function that it, it reuptakes the extra serotonin the main mechanism of action of uh, paroxetine is via this uh, transporter that is it blocks this transporter and there is no reuptake of uh, this extra serotonin and uh, serotonin is available for more duration of time in this synaptic cleft also there are this 5-ST1 receptor present in the presynaptic pre and the function of this is when it receives 5-HT uh, it uh, inhibits the release of vesicle in the synaptic cleft Paroxetine also blocks this receptor and hence the release of vesicle is uninhibited. Hence by both this mechanism, uh, paroxetine tries to increase the levels of serotonin in the synaptic cleft. Now let us understand the indications of paroxetine. Paroxetine is used in major depressive disorders which consist of irritability, insomnia, feeling of guilt, social withdrawal. Paroxetine is also used for many anxiety disorders like panic disorder, generalized anxiety disorder and social anxiety disorder. Some of the features of panic disorder are increased heart rate, tremors, palpitations and sweating. Paroxetine is also used for obsessive compulsive disorder. It, paroxetine is also used in post traumatic stress disorder and also in premenstrual dysphoric disorder. It is the extension of uh, premenstrual syndrome and it consists of irritability, anxiety, difficulty in concentration and mood changes. Now let us talk about the side effects of paroxetine. The one of the may, very important side effect is serotonin syndrome. Serotonin syndrome is basically due to increased uh, levels of serotonin uh, in the body and which uh, leads to features like agitation, hallucination, confusion, uh, diaphoresis, flushing, anxiety, tachycardia, hyperthermia, tremors and rigidity. Now about some interactions. When the paroxetine is used uh, in a person who is already on aspirin or warfarin or NSAIDs, it is noticed that there is increased risk of bleeding and there is prolongation of bleeding which can lead to epistaxis, hematoma and gastrointestinal bleeding. Other side effects are seizures, glaucoma, actually it causes pupillary dilatation which can worsen the glaucoma and mania. Now few of the less important side effects as we already discussed they are due to anticholinergic effect of the drug. They include dry mouth, constipation, dyspepsia, somnolence, dizziness, tremors, loss of libido, ejaculation, asthenia, abnormal vision and skin rashes. Now let us talk about the doses. Uh, paroxetine is used at different uh, doses in different diseases. For example, in major depressive disorder and generalized anxiety disorder and post-traumatic stress disorder, it is used uh, at a dose of 20 to 50 mg per day. For OCD and social anxiety disorder, it is used at 20 to 60 mg per day. And for panic disorder, it is used at 10 to 60 mg per day. So that is it for the video guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you can get the notification for upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.